Welcome to South Korea. Where are we going today? Let's have a look. We're going to Wee Wang. Wee Wang. All right, let's go. Ugh, so today's episode is going to be a little bit different. Uh, a lot of the audio was unusable because it was ridiculously hot outside. So I'm going to be here talking you through the day through the medium of this picture frame. And you're going to see why in a little bit. So stick around for that. But let's begin with the first place that we went to. The Railroad Museum. The Wee Wang Railroad Museum had this mixture of normal subways and trains and then this just mental selection of torture equipment. You don't want to be run over by one of these. Looks like it could be some kind of hideous torture device. <laughs> yeah, it does look like that. <laughs> like a mobile torture rack. Yeah. <laughs> just hang people off the beams. This one as well, also. <laughs> yeah, definitely that We're one. in some torture museum. <laughs> yeah, we've, we've accidentally come to a torture museum. This is a real train, yeah. This is the kind of train we're looking for. Yeah. Yeah. This one looks at the subways and scoffs. Yeah. You call that a train? I think the highlight for me had to be this kind of hand crank car that you see in all the Roadrunner and Coyote videos. I really wanted to have a go at this, but they knew how to stop me. They've zip tied it. My greatest weakness, yeah. zip ties. <laughs> if there's not a model train set we can play with inside, I will be very sad. Do you think there'll be one better than the one we used last week? It would be very hard for it to be worse. The train that moved three inches incredibly slowly. Yeah. It's moving! And then broke. Yeah. It's a train for Liverpool that someone's nicked all the bits. <laughs> the museum had a collection of stamps with trains on them, songs about trains, a metal cow. Yeah, I have no idea about that one. A very kind woman just came up to us and gave us a free gift, which are these tickets for the old Seoul train. And she said that they're real tickets. They have serial numbers on the back. These are actually real, genuine, old, tickets for the train so it's a pretty cool little gift here is a computer that they used in 1981 to power the trains in korea the ontel with the missing key i think this is the same one that they still use on southern rail in the uk Ooh. that was fun oh i don't know what i'm doing Mr. Wee Wang himself. We have just found the best sign possibly in the world. Ant sign, you are so f special. That's definitely a, a bleep <laughs> gonna happen. All the trains have horrifying faces. That one's kind of like Thomas, but terrifying. The Pied Piper leading the trains. This one just looks horrible. I think with my limited career that this sign is saying, I'll see you at the 2012 art festival. And who wants to see that face? That's horrible. This is a very, Unusual mural. <laughs> this guy's just winking and saying, Wee Wang. Wow. We know what this guy likes. Yeah. <laughs> After leaving the railroad museum, we made our way onto the next place, and you might be sensing a bit of a theme here because the next place that we made our way to was the rail park. <laughs> Break. <laughs> When we got into the car, the first thing you had to do was test the brakes, right? To check they're working. And as we did that, we just kind of rolled forward, checked the brakes, everything was fine. Then there's this group of girls behind us who it's their turn to check the brakes now and they just didn't brake. I can sense them coming up behind me and the worker's like, okay, brake. And they just, instead of braking, decided, why brake when you can scream? Oh, we're gonna get crashed into. <laughs> <laughs> I think we might die on this. <laughs> what a way to go. Oh, he's gonna take a picture of us. Let's go! Come on! One, two, three, smile. Let's go! Come on! <laughs> nice. So we do need to move quite quickly, I think, or we might die. I found the next camera for one place, one camera. The GT Speed Zone! You ready for the Speed Zone? Start! Go! 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 Finish! <laughs> that was actually surprisingly fun and surprisingly yeah. fast. So badly mocked it now, you know? Yeah. <laughs> this ride took about 40 minutes and it had its ups and downs, mostly ups as you're about to listen to, because I'm going to now read to you from some of the reviews from other people who took this ride. So this person gave it five stars, the best. I've ridden most of the rail bikes in each region. All right, get you. But it was really nice to ride somewhere with such great scenery so close to Seoul. However, it was the most difficult course I've ever been on because there are a lot of uphill sections and there weren't any automatic sections. That is true. It did feel like we were basically riding uphill the whole time. 
which is impossible, but it felt that way. Okay, we have a one star review. It is a good leg muscle workout. That is true. It was a good workout. Unlike other places, they at least have an electric section on the uphill section. Again, all uphill, no assistance. <laughs> the price is a bit expensive. Oh, the last guy said that as well. I don't think I'll go there again. I mean, to be fair, I think this is like a one time kind of deal. I don't think you like using this to get to work as your daily commute, are you? So I agree. It was pretty uh, decent experience, but I wouldn't go again. Uh, we've got one more review for <laughs> who just says, yay. <laughs> Three stars. I love that enthusiastic. Yay! Nah, it's all right. It was so hard because there was no semi-automatic on the uphill rail. I hope not. The last thing you want is a bloody machine gun looking at you. The grass was so overgrown that I kept brushing against it. <laughs> I did actually say this in one of the clips. I'll try to find it. That I said I thought that the place was just shut down because it was so overgrown. So I definitely see what they meant about that. The overall facility needs to be replaced and inspected. In addition, the rails were aging. At the end, when I was going crazy, I took a picture before departure. It was frowned upon to see a child who didn't know what it was like to be solicited just pick it up. All of this and the title, yay! So what rating would I give it? Well, I would give it five out of five for one reason only. And it's the reason I've got this photo frame today, which is when we got off the ride, I immediately saw all of the pictures that photographer had taken that you can buy. Come on. And I never buy those things. But what picture did we have? We had this absolute beauty. Look at this. They've put the Asian filter on our faces. So our skin is completely pink. Uh, I do like how smooth it is, but <laughs> this is just so funny. Like the pink cart, the flowers, the pink faces. This is an absolute masterpiece. This, this ride gets a, a 15 out of 10, as far as I'm concerned. You know what? I've actually got a space on one of these shelves. Perfect for this. Beautiful. Thank you for watching. I'll be back next time with a working microphone and let's explore more of Korea together. See you next time.